Hello everyone, this is uh, Chris here with Silo TV. Um, I'm going to do another um, another video, a, a tutorial on Sprite Kit. And uh, today I'm going to do one on physics. This will be like a part one, just kind of like a basic. This is going to be pretty quick. Just a basic on uh, how to uh, incorporate physics into a uh, into Sprite Kit. Okay. So if um you have if you uh, so what I, what I did was I added three images a circle a triangle and a square here and um they're just this is this, this little app is running right now so but basically there's no physics on any of these these uh sprites so I'm going to show you guys how to do some just real basic and then later on um, I'll show you how to um, do some physics with, with collisions. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started here. All right, so what I did was I just made a basic little scene like I just showed you here. I'll run it again. Just a little basic scene with these images and no physics on them. If you don't know how to add images go ahead and look at my other tutorial on how to add uh, sprites in sprite kit using swift all right so basically what i got here um if you just followed that other tutorial i was telling you about you would be at pretty much at this point don't mind this stuff down here that's part of the physics um so you I have a game scene dot swift which you know, this is showing, this is what adds, this is the code that, you know, tells us what sprites to add, where to put them. There's your add child. You'll see all that from the other video. And then you have the game controller right here, which pretty much sets everything up, uh, sets your scene up. Um, I have a show frames per second to true, show node count to true, ignore siblings, blah, blah, blah. And uh, then finally, it presents the scene and it calls the scene. Okay, and the scene is game scene, which you can see right here, game scene dot swift. Go over here and then it tells it what to do. Then move into view, setting it up. Okay, so first off, let's go to game controller. Okay, uh, I already have some of this stuff. All right, well, I think I have it all typed up. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this guy right here. You can just follow along, I'm not typing anything. Um, so what I got here is I'm gonna put uh, skview.showphysics equals true. Now you don't have to have that if you don't want, but what it'll do is it'll draw the physics body around your sprite so you kind of know what you're working with so when, when you, if you go to publish your game or whatever you can just put that to false okay then also I forgot to mention I you might want this is different you might want to add this this is just a uh, little function that's going to delay our little uh, sprites when they go to drop down so just copy that, it's just a delay, I'm not gonna go over that. Um, and here's the function that actually calls this function. This is the function, it's, this little thing is calling this function right here. So let's go ahead and add that in, okay. Let me go ahead and add that and I'll show you. Oops, there we go, command B, okay. So basically, um, let me go ahead and fix that. Okay. So we're calling it delay. That's the name of the function up here, delay. It's going to delay it four seconds, and then it's going to run this code, which is pretty much going to add the gravity. Okay, so scene.physicsworld.gravity is equal to a vector. There's nothing going to happen on the X, but we're going to simulate like real-world gravity, and it's going to be it's going to drop uh, negative 9.8, okay? That's like meters per second or something. Um, okay, so got that in. 
And then last but not least, we're going to draw, if I go ahead and run it again, this next bit of code, we're going to make a, pretty much a border around, well I'll wait till later to do that, but we're going to make a border around the frame here so our sprites won't just fall through and, and then you don't see them anymore. So we'll make a frame and then the sprites will just fall down on the uh, on the bottom of the iPhone, iPad, what have you. All right, but I'll do that later. Let's just let's see them fall through first. All right, so let's go here. Okay, let's start out with a. Uh, so we got our circle, it's triangle, square. So let's go with the circle here. Um, circle. Let circle equal sprite node. Image name circle. And I just put my uh, assets in here and the Xcode assets right there. Just drag them on in. Anyway, um, okay, so and then I give it the circle, the circle of position uh, on the x, the size dot width times 125, and then the height. I made the all the height of all the sprites the same height, and they each have different positions on the x axis. So let's go ahead. Let me copy this, and this is saying. Well, let me copy it first, and I'll put it up here. Okay. All right. There it is. Uh, circle dot physics body equals escape physics body. Okay. So what this is saying is, okay, we're gonna give our circle here a physics body, and what type of physics body is the shape of the physics body is going to be a circle of radius, and then it's gonna be circle dot size dot width divided by two. Okay. So if we go ahead and run that now, we get this and there it is it just falls through okay now um let me go ahead and um let me see what i want to do here i'm going to take away the gravity for a second zero zero just to show you something here so there's no gravity. Ah, it still fell through. Crap. Uh, well, let me go ahead and change that back. There must be a default setting in there somewhere that I don't know about. So I'm going to just comment that whole thing out. I'm still doing it. What the hell? Why is it doing that? Uh, let me do this then. Um, well, anyway, I don't know. It's not important, but you would see if you if I could have stopped it. I can't figure out why it's not working, but uh, if I could have stopped it, you would see a little green circle around the uh, circle okay anyway uh, maybe I'll figure that out in a second uh, I'll, let me finish this video and then I'll, maybe I'll go back and see what, what's wrong and show you this the uh, physics body okay so as far as the uh, I'm gonna do the uh, square next and let me go back here okay so that's all good to go Okay, well, I'll show you once I add that in, you'll see it. Okay, never mind. All right, uh, let's go back, let's go to the square. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here, go to the square. This is my square code. Paste that in there. And then the square should also fall through. Boom. And you kind of could see the little green around it, the little green box around it. Now, the, the triangle is, a little different okay this one is a little bit trickier um let me go ahead and copy you can see how the square works it's a uh, squared out physics body equals sk physics body um rectangle of size and then you're gonna say square dot frame dot size so it's just tracing a physics body around it 
but the triangle is different. You just can't do that with a triangle or any shape that is like say for instance you just don't have a circle or a square you have a I don't know you maybe you have a picture of a cat or a dog or whatever an ice cream cone um, you're gonna have to kind of trace your or virtually trace your physics body around it um, there's other ways to do it but this is just the simple way and like I say I'll go over more later they have they have better ways but with those better ways it takes more resources which may slow your game down okay so let's go ahead I'm gonna skip a line and I'm gonna paste this in <clears throat> so basically you are setting a, a, a variable a constant a triangle path and then you're calling this CG path create mutable okay and um, right here with this line you are pretty much putting your virtual pin at this point okay uh, try you can almost see how it works um, probably gonna start down at the bottom left of the triangle is where you're putting your virtual pin and then this next few lines are pretty e kind of easy to read I guess um, let me see um, yeah I don't know why that's like that. Um, don't know. Anyway, that weird. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so and this is just drawing from point to point on the triangle. Okay. And then right here it's saying triangle, and then saying triangle dot physics body and then physics body polygon from path and then you're giving it the path right here which you defined up here okay all right so let's go ahead and see that one drop down no they're all dropping down okay cool but we just don't want our objects to just fall through okay we want them to um stop so we'll go back here to our scene and then we'll just go ahead and add our physics body here copy that guy there and I'm gonna go ahead here let me skip a line command V okay and then let's go ahead and run that and then we should see our objects fall boom and there, there's our, uh, you can see the line, the outline of the actual physics body right there. Okay. Um, right there on a triangle and, yeah, the triangle and then the square. Okay. Um, and you can, you can change out, you can change it around a little bit, you know. Um, let's say for instance, I mean, you can kind of maybe tweak it a little bit. Minus 10. I'll we'll see if that makes that go away a little bit. Kind of just kind of see it shrink, shrunk the uh, physics body a little bit. Um, let's make it a little exaggerate a little bit more, just so you can see. See, so I shrunk the physics body is right there, it's deeper inside the circle. Well. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, hit like if you um, if this helped you at all. Maybe subscribe if you like the channel. I'll, I'm gonna do more. This is just like the basic intro to physics, the physics body. I'm gonna actually show you some non-standard physics bodies and maybe uh, incorporate it into a little silly game or something. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching.